Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to have a look at Endgame 54 and 55 from the book 100 Endgames You Must Know by Jesus de la Vila. In this endgame, we are going to have a look at rule of distant effectiveness, how the defending team is able to use this rule to draw this position. So uh, in the previous video, we had a look at the Lucina and the Philodo de uh, defense, so the Lucina position and the Philodo defense position. And these two positions are the foundation for all other Rook endgames. So you should know these two endgames as the back of your hand. So in this endgame, if it's for example, uh, we'll just say Black makes a random Rook D2 move. And as you can see, White is winning because we know it's a Lucina position. Rook g1, king h7, rook g4, king h6, and then white is able to build this bridge and uh, prevent any more further checks. We had a look at this in the previous video, just check it out if you are not sure about it. So, going back to the original position, in this video, we are going to only have a look at the rule of distant effectiveness, which means if you divide this board where the pawn is there will be a shorter side in this case the right side which has only three squares and the longer side which has four squares in this case the defensive king should be on the shorter side and the defensive rook should be on the longer side and then you can draw this position how can black draw this position it's rook a8 and as you can see there is absolutely no way why can make any progress because black will keep attacking the uh, the white king and uh, give perpetual check. And for example, if the white king here comes to c5, then rook e6 and wins the pawn. Stay tuned till the end of the video and uh, you will find a puzzle at the end of the video where you will be able to uh, find what is the exception to this rule. Endgame 55 talks about uh, the knight spawns first rank defense. So here, of course, you can see uh, our king after king a6, white to move, and now it's black to move. Uh, black cannot play the Philodor defense, even though it's similar to that because the pawn will simply take the rook. So if the Philodor defense position is not available because it's a knight pawn, black can actually play rook c8 and this is actually drawish i'll just show you how it is first king b6 rook f8 and then a critical move rook b7 now rook king a8 is actually drawish now we'll have a look at the incorrect king c8 if it's the king c8 then king a7 attacking uh, having a threat there on b8 so rook f1 Rook b8 check, king d7, rook a8, rook b1, b6 is pushed to protect the pawn, king c6 attacking the pawn again, and then here white has to play rook c8, king d7, another check, rook c7, king d8, and then now king is brought to b7, rook b4, and the white uh, rook comes back to c2, king d7, Rook a7, allowing the pawn to promote. If the black rook gives a check, then king b8 and rook b4 and b7. Can you recognize this position? If you had known the Lucina position, you will know this. So as you can see, when white makes, uh, so black makes a mistake, uh, white actually capitalizes it and then simplifies this position to a Lucina position. And as you can, as you may know, the Lucina position is winning um, in the next few moves. I won't go through the whole thing again. So I'll go back to this position. The critical move was King A8, the correct move. King C8 loses immediately. So go back to this position. King A8 is played. And then Rook A7 check. King B8 after Rook H7, then rook g8 and as you can see there's no way um, y can make any progress because the rook is on the back rank however there is one exception this kind of defense will not work for 
bishop and the central pawn so any pawns on the c d e or f files this defense won't work because the king will have another escape square the white king will be able to come around and uh, win this position finally as i promised this is the uh, puzzle i wanted to show you it's the exact same position which i uh, showed in the first endgame 54 however all pieces except for the black rook has been moved one file to the d uh, one file this side so d file and now the rook as you can see is on the shorter side and the defensive uh, king is on the longer side so it's uh, after rook a8 as we played in the previous example how can white win this position take a minute uh, try to solve this position and if you can find it please write it in our comments I hope you enjoy this video. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe and it's bye for now.